Welcome back friends. This is Solomon Jagwe. I'm back with another quick insight today. I'm excited because as a photographer, I, I love everything that has to do with uh, lenses and cameras. And, uh, and so today we're going to be talking about product display using DAS 3D and a 3090 card. You know, I have that to do, say that as a disclaimer. To sh to create like some awesome renders of uh you know product rend like a product demonstration. So, what better way than to use a camera? So every now and then, you know, models come up on DAS 3D that make it so exciting. You know, for me to be able to show some idea that I've been having in mind, right? So this model is by uh, an artist called Age of Ama. He's a or he or she, they are developers on DAS 3D and it's also a DAS original. But this camera is 1295 you know? Can you imagine buying a, a camera in real life for $12.95? <laughs> so, but in this world, in the CG world, you can buy this for $12.95. So this camera, I just wanted to show you some renders here and what it looks like. And then I'm going to go into DAS Studio so I can show you what it looks like when you actually render it okay so guys if you're new to my channel i kindly ask you to spare a minute to subscribe and hit that notification bell after you subscribe and uh so that you're notified you know when i post a new video and thank you so much for helping me get to thirteen thousand subscribers thank you thank you so much i appreciate it and thank you so much to the, my patrons out there you guys I, I i truly truly appreciate your support so back to this model right here this awesome awesome camera I wish I owned it in real life, but uh, I guess when I when I sit in 3D, I can, I'm like, okay, I can play with it. All right, here's that model, that 3D model loaded in there in a DAS Studio, and I'm using 4.16 Pro. Uh, look at that, okay? So this looks like a still image rendered with a, I don't know, something like a photo, but look at this. Boom. <laughs> Guys. Look at that, you know. So, render settings. What I'm using right now is uh, I'm using and advanced. So I have uh, my 3090 card running. I'm not using CPU. I'm just relying purely on this uh, the graphics card, the 3090, to see how well it works over here. And under the presets over here, these presets are portrait presets, right? But they work really, really well as product demonstrations. So I'm going to show you, I'm going to go through a bunch of them so you can see what, uh, how it looks over here. And uh, the camera looks great. And so another thing that uh, I'm, I've also adjusted under the editor over here, under filtering, I've made sure that to enable the post denoiser and also post the, the post denoiser enabled on, those two settings are on. And I've put the post denoiser start iteration to zero. That's why I'm able to do this in real time. Like, <laughs> and that's what a 3090 card does for you. And I know these are like unicorns. Uh, getting a 3090 card is all is really, really difficult. So I, all this, I mean, having a 39 card, it took me a while to find one, to even buy one. But it really was the team at Puget Systems that uh, helped me with this system. It's a super duper machine, uh, this rig that I'm working with. So, but I'm just trying to show you guys what is possible, that if you invest in a 3090 card and what a, a good system. So a lot of us, you know, when we use DAS Studio, it's usually because of rendering. I mean, the lighting that our models don't turn out the best. And of course, it goes to the model quality as well, because the person who modeled this, mo this camera did an awesome job of adding all these details and all that right so once you light it properly now you got you start seeing the details you know because this is like macro photography you know no pun intended because we're using a camera but this is what you can do in the studio to create uh like product uh renders and i'm using a camera here so by default i mean if you go to perspective view it's gonna look something like that but I wanted to show you, like, from the point of view of a, a, a camera, what it actually looks like. So, using this camera, I'm gonna switch over to the camera again. I can go to the camera settings over here and select my camera and look at this. 
So under focal distance, I've enabled uh, depth of field for sure because I need that to be on. And I can adjust the focal distance in real time here and watch it so I can crawl, you know, out like that in, you know, like right now we are over here. So if I'm going to rotate over here and we want to focus on that, just adjust the focal distance until you knock get like right there. Okay. So now that's our focus point and look, it actually picks up on that. So let me go over here <laughs> and we check it. So focal distance is just kick it in like right there, like a rock focus. And now I can rotate. <laughs> okay. So I am telling you guys, having a 3090 card has changed my life. There's life before the 3090 card and then there's life post, I mean, after the 3090 card. And that studio has become way more fun with the right hardware. It's always the, the rendering that kind of, you know, is frustrating in DAS studio. But when you have the right hardware, you know, it changes your ability to create renders like this. Because, I mean, these are things that... Uh, you would have to have like a macro lens. So you, I really can't afford this camera, right? And I can't afford that lens right now because the lens is probably, might cost almost as much as the camera body itself or even more, you know? So they have lenses in here that are different. Like I think it's a, a 15 millimeter, a 15 millimeter and a 15 millimeter over here. And then there's the zoom lens, right? But look at that, that I can use this in DAS Studio to be able to simulate those lenses to be able to focus in on this product and be able to see the nice shallow depth of field over here, you know? And I can get in like real close and see the detail. <laughs> I mean, like seriously, look at that. I hats off to Age of Armor in the DA Studio team because this product right here is really, really, really awesome. So guys, I mean, the, if you are into product, uh, like this creation or modeling and you, you are a photographer, whatever, you're trying to show a client what is possible, I think this model right here, or even when you have your own model, if you're talking to an artist to model something for you, let them push the envelope, put in as much detail as you can because you know, if you bring it to Da Studio, you can do these kind of renders, you know, and you can go that close. You can come that close to the camera and be able to do like rock focus and shallow depth of field. And oh my gosh, this is beautiful. This is really, really, really awesome. All right, now let me show you what the other lighting settings look like. Okay, so. Here's the, you can see the camera. And before I go, let me actually show you. So that's the zoom lens. Uh, let me see if I can bring up the other. So that's the, let's turn that off. And now you can see the inside of the body of the camera, right? But then there's uh, another lens in there. So we have the 18 millimeter lens and the 50. So if I turn on the 50 millimeter lens, we can go in and check it out. Look at that, look at that. And what is really neat, even for the my camera in here in Da Studio, I can go here and change my focal length to say a hundred. And that is what I expect as a photographer, the kind of uh, output, right? That is like really, really, really cool. Look at that. And this is in real time. Close <laughs> to real time, really, because it's not like uh, updating this. Uh... <sighs> anyway, 3090 cut. Guys, if you're able, and I know right now they're kind of uh, like a premium to get. So the best way to get a 3090 card right now on the market is to probably buy a machine that has a 3090 card in it. So you can always, if you have another machine that you use, I think it's best to invest in a, a machine that has a 3090 card and then you can transport that 3090 card to your machine but i i think i mean for me uh working with the project systems team 
the machine itself has to be optimized to handle the 3090 card. So just moving it from one machine to another might cause problems. So having, I'm gonna put a link in the description of this video so you can see the specs of the machine that I am using and how you can talk to the project system team for, to help, for them to help you configure your system depending on your budget. But as you can see, it's making a huge difference in terms of trying. So let me play with the depth, focal, depth, uh, focal distance over here because I want to get close to this right here. Now that's knocked out in the background and now I can rotate over here. <laughs> so cool, so, so cool. And then let's play over here. Look at that, guys. Okay, I cannot say enough how important the hardware makes, I mean, how much of a difference the hardware that makes in terms of uh, renders, but the 3090 card makes a big, big, big difference when you're rendering things in DA Studio. So I truly encourage you. I know a lot of us uh, can't afford a 3090 card out of the box, but if you're saving for something, save for a 3090 card because it's gonna change the way you do your art and renders in DAS Studio. It makes a big difference. Now, let's stay here. Let's go and check out these other render settings in the presets. Let's just go through and just double click on some of these. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> Let's try it. This one. Oh, man. So these are not just for portraits, guys. You can use them for product display and presentation. You know? Ah. <laughs> so if I rotate a little bit and you can actually see it over there. Ah, oh my gosh. All right. Let me try this one. Let's try that one. And which one should I try? Let's try this number 10. Yes. Look at that. And now I want to see the reflection on the lens over here. So let me zoom out a little bit. Ah, being able to iterate as an artist, as a concept artist, as an art director is a, it's a so, so important. So that's where this, uh, you know, having the ability to do this is really important guys this is amazing in terms of uh that you can actually do this in da studio um now this is what I, i'm expecting like when i'm in the unreal engine 5 for no you know using lumen this is like on the fly i can do this but uh just being able to do this in da studio is really really cool and to be able to see this kind of detail. So I I mean, I found this model and today that's what I wanted to share with you is that uh, it's amazing what you can do when you, you're doing product displays in DA Studio. And what's making that possible is first of all, the detail in the model itself, you know, because that caught my arm like, is that really, is that a photo? Is that a 3D render? And can I actually use DAS 3D to be able to do this render and Clearly, I can. <laughs> the answer is that it's possible to do this in DA Studio. And this is evidence that it's possible. That's why I'm showing you these things, guys. So, and the what the reason I'm showing this is because this is not just for product, but you can imagine a character, an environment. So all this comes into play when you're trying to present something. So if I'm doing like a short in like an intro for my in my short film. I can animate like the camera going like this. You know, <laughs> and that becomes like an intro to like a really, really cool short film, right? So that's why I wanted to show you this. And it's, I'm very excited. Uh, let me see if I can switch to, so we have that lens. I have the, and then let's do the, that's the 50 millimeter lens. Look at that guy. And then let's switch to the 18 millimeter lens and look at that, right? That is amazing. And let's go play with some more settings in here. So let me see, can I find like a cool environment? Uh, let's try this environment here. Maybe this one, try that one. 
different ones. Okay, let's try this one. Ah, look at that. You know, the lens is, you can actually see the lens, the glass on that. So let me go over here. Which one more did I want to try? Uh, this one. Okay, let's try this one. And I'm going to go back to the editor, go to progressive and make sure I turn on the post noiser. It's on. Uh, or filtering. Make sure it's on. And uh, it's set to zero. Let's collapse this. Collapse that. And let's look at this. And rotate around. That is so cool. So, so cool. And that's underground. <laughs> uh, so before we go, let me try one more preset, I think. Which one is what I wanted to try? There's a, a preset in here that is black and white. All right, let's try monochrome. Yes, let's try this one. Like this. So there are different kinds of looks that you can get. And there's one more, something I wanted to try out. Where was it? This one? No, not that one. Okay. This is the one I wanted to show you. All right. But look at that, guys. And you can get in real close. And let me change the settings over here real quick. For the under general, I want to do the active viewports. So I get the full render. And then under filtering, Posternizer enabled, it's on, and we turn this off to zero. All right, and then collapse that. Now we can play around. <laughs> oh my gosh. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for joining me today. Clearly, I, I'm, getting, I'm having way too much fun, and I'm having ends, like lens envy, <laughs> not envy lens. <laughs> <laughs> lens envy like i wish i actually this i had this kind of these lenses in real life but i can do this in 3d for now you know and by the way i i really use the canon i know there are like uh nikon users out there so i know you guys are probably geeking out seeing this nikon ds uh four but thank you so much for joining me again do please spare a minute to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you're alerted when I post a new video and may we continue to use these tools, guys, to, to tell our stories and to bring our, you know, ideas to life. So, so, so cool. Thank you so much for your support. As always, I'm praying for you guys. Please stay safe and uh, much love to everybody. Um, dare to dream big. Please don't give up on your dream, guys. Bye for now. <laughs> God bless you all.